Hello. This series is going to explore adding Wi-Fi functionality to the Teensy microcontroller. Specifically, I'm going to be using a Teensy 4.0, which is right here, and an Adafruit Huzzah ESP8266 module as the Wi-Fi chip. Now we'll get to this in a moment. There are certainly other ways to do this. This just happens to be the way that I'm going to go about it. So the Teensy is a fantastically powerful and pretty darn inexpensive embedded package, but it doesn't have any wireless capability out of the box. So I've decided to explore adding Wi-Fi connectivity through the use of, again, this device right here, an Adafruit Huzzah ESP8266. The ESP8266 itself is already a fairly powerful microcontroller with the added benefit of built-in Wi-Fi capability, but it doesn't have some of the functionality that the Teensy does namely the ability to function as a human inter interface device, a HID, as it were. Uh, and a HID is something like a keyboard, a mouse, or a joystick. So this is why I've decided to uh, construct my device with these components, the TNC4, the powerful number crunching, and the HID usage, and the ESP8266 for Wi-Fi connectivity. So the original ESP8266 is in this black package you see here, which isn't very conducive to breadboard testing. But Adafruit was kind enough to create a breakout board, which is blue here, and it fans out all of the important signals into standard 0.1 inch pitch pins, which means that it'll actually fit into a breadboard. So let's actually start putting this together. As with all embedded projects, there are two top level subsystems, the hardware and the software. I'm just gonna cover the basic hardware wiring in this video, and in the next video, I'll go over the basic software setup. For the record, I'll be using the Arduino IDE, at least for the first few videos. Might change in the future. So the first thing I've got to do here is set up my breadboard. You see in front of you a completed setup breadboard, as far as I'm defining it. I've actually run ground from the G pin here all the way through the bottom rail here up to this bottom upper rail. So ground is everywhere along there. And I'll try to keep these color coded properly. This is standard fare uh, for breadboards when I put them together. I've also run 3.3 volts here from the 3V pin, 3.3 volts, all the way across the top of the upper rail and down here to the top lower rail as well. So I've got 3.3 volts distributed across all those horizontal rails in my breadboard as well. I need to do this because the Huzzah board, like any other breakout board, needs power. Uh, this one happens to run on 3.3 volt uh, power, so I've distributed 3.3 volts across my entire breadboard. The TNC also runs on 3.3 volts, so this is pretty convenient. So I'm going to drop in the 8266 board into the breadboard right about there, and then give it some power. I've got some pre-cut wires here, so this is a little bit of a cheaty way to do it. You'll have to cut your own wires. There's 3.3 volts, and there is ground. So now that the 8266 has power, the only thing left to do is actually connect up the communication lines. And the easiest way to communicate with the 8266 is through a UART connection, also sometimes known as serial. You may remember that those pins are RX and TX pins. And if you take a look on the Huzzah, you'll see that the RX and the TX are right here, RX, TX. So for the teensy serial pins, I'm going to be using serial one, which if you take a look at the pinout shown here, they are pins zero and one. So as always, RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. There is my RX to TX. Here is my TX to RX. This is now fully hooked up. Thank you for watching. The next video will be about setting up the basic software. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.